Hello there, I'm digital artist Aaron Rutten, and in this episode of my digital artist vlog, I'm going to talk a little bit about going legit, getting your business license, paying taxes, and all that stuff. Because as an artist, you're running your own business, you're self-employed in pretty much every state and country as far as I know, you have to pay taxes on the income that you make. So let's take a look at what you need to set up to do that. So first of all, you need to get a business license. You may need a business license for the state you live in as well as the city, and in my case, I need a business license for the state and I need one for the city of Seattle. So I have to have both business licenses. Now, since I don't plan on having any employees and I'm just gonna run my business myself or rather myself is my business, I set up a sole proprietorship. You could also set up an LLC depending on what you wanna do. But I think that's probably the best bet for artists who do what I do. So if you live in the US, you'll have to pay federal taxes and you may have to pay state taxes. So you wanna keep track of everything that you do, every job you do, every check you get, all the cash you get, you wanna just write that down. And if you want, you can go ahead and use something free like GNU Cash, which is what I've been using, or you could get QuickBooks or Quicken or something like that, which might make it a little bit easier to keep track of things. But basically, keep all your receipts, keep all your invoices, keep records of everything. That way, when it comes to tax time, you have all that stuff and you can get it all together and fill out your taxes with it. So what is taxable income? That's any service you provide, that's commissioned artwork that you sell, that's products you sell, that's donations that you get. I mean, anything where you're getting money, you have to claim all that stuff. So when I've been doing taxes, I've been using TurboTax, and that's really, really, really easy to use. I mean, they basically ask you every single question that needs to be asked, and you put in all your information, calculates everything for you, and it makes sure that you're getting all the deductions that you can get. And on the topic of deductions, you also can write off a lot of stuff. You can possibly, depending on where you live and what your situation is, you might be able to write off a lot of the rent for your house if you're using it as a studio space and to store your artwork and you're having clients come over to your house and things like that, you can write off a lot of your rent. You can write off some of your utilities. You can write off art supplies, obviously. You can write off office supplies, the digital painting software that you bought, the tablet or the new computer or any kind of hardware that you bought, your travel expenses to get to and from your client's place, subscription fees if you have, uh, let's say, Adobe Creative Suite or something. That's something that you have to pay for for your business, so you can write that off. And any other kind of services. If someone's providing a service that's helping your business or is business related, you can write that off too. Now, if you have things like, let's say, a tablet or a computer or a camera or some piece of technical equipment that you use for your business, you can also get an extra little discount by depreciating the value of it. So you can say, this Surface Pro 3 that I bought is worth this amount now when I bought it, but after X amount of years, it's only going to be worth this amount. So you basically get a little bit of a discount by writing off part of that. So that's basically it. Keep track of everything. Keep all your receipts. Keep track of all the money you made. And then at the end of the year, use something like TurboTax to get everything together, figure out how much you owe, and then go through and figure out everything that you've spent money on. If you have to, look through your PayPal account, look through your bank account, and look through everything and see what money came in and what money went out. And anything that went out that was business related, you can write that off. And that'll take away a big, big chunk of what you're going to owe for taxes at the end of the year. So anyways, I hope that helped you get legit and get your business together because that's really important, not only for you know legal reasons, you don't want to get in any trouble, but it also makes you look a lot more legit from a customer's point of view to see that you do indeed have a business license and that you're a legitimate business. If you enjoyed this episode of my vlog, take a quick second to like this video and share it with your friends and click that subscribe button there if you're new to my channel and you'll get updates when I release new videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next Monday for another episode of my digital artist vlog.